Hello, my fellow Italians, and welcome to the second ever Italia Dad Awards. I am your host, Colco, and tonight we are going through Italia's best and worst dads. First, let us review all the dads that we have with us tonight. Here come the dads! First up, we have Turkey. Turkey raised Greece, Egypt, and the Cyprus brothers, and kind of raised Iceland and probably a few more kids. He is the only one that supports Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, and he was actually close to having a wife with his family. Too bad he killed her. Next, we have our youngest dad, Australia. Australia's dad skills haven't been shown much, but whatever we do see shows the traits of a good dad. He lets his kids have independence and recognizes them, and still has a good relationship with them. Maybe one day he will join the ranks of the elite dads. Then we have the classic dad, Austria. A dad who hasn't really been given a very favorable rating as of lately. A dad who shows discipline and tough love, but will fight to the death to keep custody of his kids from his desperate ex who wants to marry his son. He also supports Kugel Moogle's freedom as well. Next we have Spain. Spain has some bad reputation as it is said that he treated his other colonies poorly, but the way he raises Romano shows that he is capable of being a good dad uh, sort of. Much to Spain's dismay, his rival, Portugal, is not only better at Eurovision, but better at dadding. Even though we rarely see him in the series, just look at this dadage. Look at that strong bond with his son. He is also a very lenient dad and isn't too strict, which could be a bad thing at times. But if we did the best son award, Macau would be a nominee, no doubt. Now we look to a dad who has had a rough time this year, China. Though legendary when it comes to raising Japan and Korea and Taiwan, this year especially, he has been severely lacking. It seems that this dad has fallen from his podium. Such a shame. From censoring everything for his teenage children and severely restricting their freedom, to setting a very bad example for his children many, many times this year. He got so bad at one point his children had to take care of him, even though he isn't quite elderly yet. Then we have the super brother, Prussia. Despite being a narcissist, he's a very protective brother, sometimes overprotective, and cares for his siblings when sick and has love that is so powerful it resurrects his brother from death. And now we turn to the world's only Chad himself, France! Though he had a bad start, and though he fails at protecting his children from harm, or from England, France raises his kids very well and doesn't give them horrible eyebrows. He may be a bit exploitative, but the caring level has given him his status of elite dad. Now we go to the most infamous dad, England. England received Worst Dad Award last year, but he is going to have some competition this year with China. But though he has received a bad reputation last year, this year he has shown us both good and bad things about his parenting. And this year we have some newcomers. Please welcome Switzerland. This hermit hedgehog will protect the shit out of his children slash siblings. And even when he doesn't have food for himself, he will always put his children slash siblings first. Then we have... a cabbage? It is daddy! Cabbage daddy, yes, how could I forget? Wait, weren't you eaten by Canada mochi though? I found new daddy! Okay, that's great. Hmm? Finland, what are you doing here? I'm tired of being associated with Sweden. I'm a good dad of my own, too. America thinks of me as a dad. I offered to be America's dad when he was sad he didn't have one, and he looked pretty happy about it. I also helped America learn how to build log cabins. All right, you're right. Head on in. And there's Denmark and Norway. Both of them raised Iceland together. 
Wow. I didn't know the Nordics were full of dads. And last but not least, we have our last contestant and guest speaker. This dad was last year's dad of the year. Father of two sons. This dad went above and beyond and showed his dadliness and proved to be a worthy recipient of best dad of the year. But will he have what it takes to take home the gold again this year? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Sweden! Thank you, thank you. I'm really honored, really am. But being a dad isn't about recognition, it's about your kids. I thank my two sons, my dog, and of course, my wife. My mom's thank wife. you. And with that, let the 2018 Hetalia Dad Awards begin! Now let's get to the awards. There are four awards. Best Dad of the Year, Worst Dad of the Year, Best Dad of All Time, and Worst Dad of All Time. So that you can vote for who is best and worst dad for this year, let's go through a recap. Since World Stars has ended, we will go through some brief moments of dadliness through the series, but just through the stuff after what was made into the anime. The stuff in World Stars that came before the comics that ended up in the anime do not count. Switzerland protecting Liechtenstein from a flirtatious Italy. Prussia and Germany building a car together. Beautiful bonding between Portugal and Macau. Just look at that bond this year. Look at them and how they reinforce one another. Here is an example of Norway being very overprotective of Iceland. But this shows that he wasn't always there for him and that Iceland had to be raised by Mr. Puffin and was incredibly, incredibly lonely. But no, no, that doesn't mean that Norway doesn't still care. He can apparently hear him from miles and miles away, even when he's in the midst of battle. Poor China had a very rough year this year. One of those reasons was him being sent to rehab for internet addiction. Prussia is being best big brother by reading fairy tale stories to a sick Holy Roman Empire in bed, knowing that he is going to die soon. But when the stories get too sexual, he knows when to censor them, and he knows how to avoid answering the questions with the birds and the bees. A magnificent save! Here's some shots of France being rather exploitative of Canada. But his influence still rubs off on him in a very positive way. England fights to the death to get control of Canada. And even though he is beaten down to the ground, even though he can barely breathe anymore, he still manages to pull off this very heartfelt moment. According to Canada, no one has ever looked at him like family before. England feels sorry that Canada has to take care of him after the Revolutionary War and is just glad that he's here and shows appreciation for his son. Now that is the right way to dad when you are in the worst condition possible. And England still had to put up with the wild behavior of Australia. But not everything was so great for England this year. Take a look at this comic, which depicts nothing but child neglect of Canada. This is a huge blow to England, not only for this year, but for his entire fatherly career. Looks like another bad move for France this year, as some of his perversion has rubbed off on Seychelles. However, this is still an adorable deadly moment. Another tough blow for England again, as he replaces himself with a cardboard cutout to avoid dealing with his sons. Despite his bad reputation across the fandom, Spain had to put up with quite a bit this year. He had to put up with Romano's quote-unquote paladin sickness and his obsession with romance novels. And he had to put up with little Romano going through puberty. And after Romano was cured from his paladin sickness, he took great measures to make sure that it would never happen again. And a big plus for France this year for inventing clothes that were more practical for children. 
And another blow for China for teaching his kids to be very unhealthy. And by displaying very unhealthy eating habits. And last but most certainly not least, we have Switzerland making a little mascot costume for Liechtenstein just moments after she came up with the idea. He even made it bulletproof. And now, after seeing all those dadly moments this year, we will now move on to the yearly nominations. Last year, we only had Best and Worst Dad, just in general. But this year, we have awards that are based on a yearly basis. But without further ado, let's announce the nominees. First, let's start with the Best Dad of the Year. We have six nominees to go through, so let's get started. Our first nominee is... Switzerland! Our second nominee... France! Our next nominee is... Spain! Our fourth nominee... England! Our fifth nominee... The Awesome Prussia! And our last nominee for Best Dad of the Year goes to... Portugal! Thank you, everyone. Those are the nominees for Best Dad of the Year. Now, here are the nominees for Worst Dad of the Year. Our first nominee is... Without surprise, China! Our second nominee is... England! Nominated for both Best and Worst Dad of the Year this year. And our third and final nominee for Worst Dad of the Year is... France! My, my, what a surprise! And now, the all-time awards nominees. These were the ones that you chose and you voted for in last video's comment section. And after tallying up the scores, here were the highest and lowest that made the nominations. First, we will have the Best Dad of All Time award. For this award, we have six nominees. I will list them in order of points. The first nominee is... Unsurprisingly, Sweden! Looks like he might win the gold again this year. Our second nominee is... Prussia! Our third nominee is... France! Our fourth nominee is... What a surprise! China! Though he may have failed big time this year, historically he has been a rather great dad. Our fifth nominee is... What a shock! Switzerland! And now, our sixth and final nominee for Best Dad of All Time is... Finland! And now, to the nominees for Worst Dad of All Time. We have three nominations this year. Our first nominee is... Unsurprisingly, England! Our second nominee is... Austria! And our third and final nominee for Worst Dad of All Time goes to... Spain! And these are all the nominees for the Nene Papa Awards this year. Ladies and gentlemen, please make sure to vote in this comment section for who you think should win each category. Next time on the Hetalia Dad Awards, we will also have some rather special entertainment. We will take a look at the two most famous dads and even more famous rivals in the Hetalia series and see who is the better dad. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please get ready for the ultimate debate between England and France. Who is best dad? Next time on the Hitalia Dad Awards! <laughs> <laughs>